Okay, I'm back. Um, so I want to flow with the Holy Ghost as He leads me. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna dive right on up in there so I don't forget. In the name of Jesus, God, retention. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, um, one of the things I was uh, hearing in my spirit was again like don't look back like we're in the, the final quarter amen and so the enemy wants uh, many people to get off track because they're right there your blessing is right there come on your blessing is right there come on don't look back in the name of jesus don't turn into a, a pillar of salt don't be pillar come on keep going forward come on and then i kept i read that scripture and then guess what because pillar left then his children, which his two daughters, was like, we got to keep the inheritance going. So they had came up with a plan to have their father lot um, to be drunk with wine. And they came up with a plan that when he was drunk with wine, that they would have sex with him so that they can continue on their legacy. Come on, Pilar. You got to keep going. Come on. You cannot look back in the name of Jesus. Come on. Because when she got out of place, then it caused perversion to step up. Oh, Come against the spirit of perversion in the name of Jesus. That spirit is a wicked spirit. That spirit is trying to get so many people off track. I plead the blood of Jesus. Come on, forgive yourself. Forgive others and move forward in the name of Jesus. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord God. I'm going to talk about the children. Come on, we got to make sure that we're praying deliverance prayers over our children. Especially when they see parents do things that, you know, we shouldn't be doing. We have to pray for forgiveness first and foremost. Turn from those wicked ways and then pray that those spirits be cast about of our children. Pray that those spirits enter our children. Pray over their eye gates. Pray over their ear gates as well as yourself. Come on. In the name of Jesus, say, lead us not into temptation. It didn't just say, it didn't just say, lead me not into temptation, but it said, lead us not into temptation. We are to pray for one another. Glory be to God. Come on, we got to intercede. Intercession is one of the most powerful tools that we have in this hour. We have to intercede for one another in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Then God led me in my spirit to start to think about the spirit of Jezebel, how the spirit of Jezebel wants to stop. The calling and the destiny and, and, and um, um, what's that word? It wants to stop. It wants to abort. Come on, thank you, Holy Spirit. Abort the calling and, and destiny of many people. So we have to stand like a flint. Come on. We have to not look to the left or the right. Come on. We have to recognize this spirit in the name of Jesus. Come on. It says submit to God, resist temptation, and the devil got to flee. Come on. We got to know how to have wisdom, how to fight against this spirit. It said because you tolerated this spirit. Mm. I gave her time to repent. Come on. God has given the spirit of Jezebel the time to repent. That spirit don't want to repent. Come on. if the per And we got to recognize that it's a spirit. It can work in a man or a woman. And it's coming to stop your destiny. It doesn't want you to be who God has called you to be. Often that spirit Jezebel fights against the prophets. Come on. That spirit hates the prophets of God. And God wants us to have wisdom concerning this spirit. Come on. We don't fight the person. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. But it's the spirit that we have to fight against and that we have to war against. Come on. And you got to be careful when you're around the spirit because the spirit can jump on you. So you got to pray. No transfer of spirits. You got to pray. I, I come out of agreement with the spirit of Jezebel in the name of Jesus. Because a person can have the spirit of Jezebel on, on them and then hug you or come in contact or text you. Come on, people are doors. And when you come into contact with them, those spirits want to try to jump on you. And that doesn't mean that the spirit gets in you, but it can jump on you. Come on, listen to my words. It can try to influence you. It can try to oppress you. So you have to come out of agreement with that spirit in the name of Jesus. So often the spirit of Jezebel is, is um, it's uh, fueled by pride. Come on. A lot of narcissists are fueled by pride. Come on. 
the spirit of Leviathan. See, a lot of leaders have the spirit of Jezebel and narcissism because people around them let them do whatever they want to do. When you had the king back in the day, King David had uh, uh, prophets around them that were able to correct them. Yes, they had to do it in wisdom because they had to be mindful that it was the king. Glory be to God. But they still was led by the spirit of God. They wasn't man's prophets. They was God's prophets in the name of Jesus. And the prophets of God should not be run by them. The prophets of God should not be ran by man. Come on. If you're a prophet of God and you're ran by man, and you're looking for your accolades from man, you are a compromised prophet, and you need to sit down and have several seats because God can't use you the way he needs to use you because you're letting man run you. The blood of Jesus. That's why we got so many narcissists today because they want to sit up here and be Jezebelic, and they want to run the prophets of God. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Come out of agreement with the spirit of Jezebel in the name of Jesus. Come out of agreement with it. You ain't got to yell it on the rooftop. You can talk in your secret closet with God. God, I come out of agreement with the spirit of Jezebel in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, give me wisdom concerning this spirit in the name of Jesus. We can't just go about dealing with spirit, spiritual things in a, in a natural way. We got to go to God. And we got to deal with everything in a spiritual manner because it's spiritual. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. The devil is trying to take you, get you out of place so you don't walk into your promise, your destiny, your calling. But stand steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord. No matter who don't understand that God is moving many people. And he's moving into the future. And people that are stuck in the past are not going to understand the future. You don't got time to fight with them. You don't got time to fight with, with the flesh. Trying to get them to understand. That's taking energy from you. So use wisdom in the name of Jesus. I love you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.